Here we have some questions about how the leading coefficient on a quadratic affects the shape of the parabola. And I thought maybe we'd uh, use a graphing calculator here. I've got desmos.com just to, to experiment with this first of all. So here's our basic function, y equals x squared. And you can see you have your typical upward opening parabola shape here. Two things we want to look at here. First of all, what does putting a negative sign in front of the x squared do? Uh, if we have a negative leading coefficient. Let's just try that. And that flips it upside down. So negative is downward opening, positive upward opening. And what happens if we put like a, a larger positive number here? So let's just change this. You know, the coefficient right now is a positive one. Let's go to a positive two. That seemed to make it a little bit narrower. Let's uh, do something more extreme. Let's go from one to 10. Very narrow. Let's go to 100. Extremely narrow. OK, so the bigger the number here, the narrower it gets. Um, let's try a fraction. So let's do 1 half. That seemed to make it a little wider. Let's get uh, an even smaller fraction. Let's do 1 tenth. Oh, very wide. Let's do 1 hundredth. Extremely wide. OK, so if this coefficient is between 0 and 1, or uh, you know, we could do this negative 2, 0, and negative 1, some fraction between 0 and 1, uh, you get a wide parabola uh, when it's uh, a non-fractional number. It gets narrower and narrower. So there's our, our 10, and here's our 1 tenth. So let's take a look at these problems now. It says, first of all, in A, for each parabola, choose whether it opens up or down. OK, well, that's easy. Positive coefficient is up, and negative is down. So here we have positive 1 third, positive 1 half. There's a negative. So this is going to be whoops, up, up, down. And y equals x squared. That's just our basic graph. That's going to open up. All right, let's look at B. It says choose the parabola with the narrowest graph. And remember, the bigger the number we put in front of, it, in front of it, the the narrower it got. So here we got one third, one half. Those are wider parabolas. Um, oh, here's a, a negative four. So that's going to be a pretty narrow downward facing parabola. There's our basic one at one. So this is uh, the number with the biggest magnitude uh, in front of the x squared. So this is going to be our narrowest graph. And this says, choose the parabola with the widest graph. And here we want the fraction that's that's smallest uh, between 0 and 1 or z uh, negative 1 and 0. And that's going to be this 1 third. 1 third is smaller than 1 half. So that is going to be our widest graph. So that's a little bit of work with uh, how the leading coefficient affects the graph of a parabola.